it may be a miserable day in New York City. However, we are on our way to what goes around comes around to see what delicious vintage delights and rare pieces they've got in to have a look at, have a gander. Maybe add some things to the wish list, I don't know. If you're new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So down that subscribe channel, bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, you ready? Let's see. And before we get into it, I just need to tell you the rare pieces that you're about to see. Okay, first of all, Everybody was lovely, everybody was so helpful. I actually got in contact with What Goes Around Comes Around to do this video to ask if I could come and have a look at some stuff just to make sure that it was okay. The staff was lovely, one of the girls is a subscriber and they, everybody showed me like their favorite pieces, the super rare pieces. There are some crazy, insane pieces in this, including pieces owned by Andre Leontali. Yes, I know, I, unfathomable. Okay, enjoy, I hope you love it. Okay, so this is 113 Wooster Street, 113, and this is the newest store, okay? So, let's have a look what they've got for us. Oh my gosh, we are going to have a time. I feel like we have the whole place to ourselves so we can really explore. Rolexes. These are all, these are all tiny face Timmy's though. You know I'm a big face Billy, but um, look at that. Do you see the one with the Tiffany dial? Mm. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get into all of this. I wish denim skirts didn't make me want to die inside because that is just so Y2K fabulous. Candy, candy colored deliciousness. I am, um, my eyes, my eyes are everywhere. I want to see everything, I want to touch everything. <gasps> Love that. What, is, what are you? You're fantastic, you're giving evening, but you're also giving fabulous casual moment. This denim flap with the pink distressing. When are you from? These are the information we need. Don't even, don't even. Look at her in her lingerie. She knows she's killing it. Good for her. We love a confident woman, <laughs> she says, talking about the mannequin. Okay, what have we got? More pink Barbie Chanel vibes. Look at that, Jackie Kennedy Onassis. <laughs> I don't know, that's who I thought of when I saw that. I love how everything is colour coordinated. I wish that, oh, that's a cute t-shirt. I wish that I had the patience to do that with my own, my own closet. And alas, I will never, I will never have the patience to colour coordinate. Oh, dear me. I'm just, I'm overwhelmed, okay? What is that? Oh, I would love to. This is insane. Insane, right? Tell me about it. Okay. All right, my dear, so obviously yes. a newer piece wow. has never been utilized before, has a lot of brilliant opportunity to house all the pretties. Wow. This is just, oh, and look at the pearl handles. I know. The CCs. I know. Oh, and it's this gosh. beautiful, right? Watches, bracelets. Mm -hmm. So not only is it this like incredible, beautiful piece. Yeah. The element of functionality here is actually really purposeful and thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's something to be said about that sort of like element of luxury that also invites for it to, you know, really be something that has longevity. I'm going to teach you another little fun thing about Tell our me. pieces. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a letter of authentication on everything. I would love to know when this one is from. That one's interesting. Oh, it's a double flap. It's a double flap. Gray and silver hardware, which we actually don't see quite that frequently. I know. The well, I was I was really intrigued by the again. pink distressing. Yeah. It I also mean, has this sort of like gray denim feel to it, which yes. I think is like an ode to like the 90s for sure. That's nice. This is a Carl piece. So she was designed by Carl. So 2010, 2011. Oh, amazing. Yeah. So she's a 10 inch double flap. 2010 and she looks this good yeah. did the person even touch it oh my gosh too, because we we buy everything outright we mm -hmm. also have um you know relationships with people that are collectors yeah and, and might not actually use the pieces mm -hmm. oh wow white. in the white yeah in the white yeah she's crazy she looks brand new yeah literally never worn honestly so this is your fave 
and um, the graffiti tote, the Chanel graffiti tote underneath. Okay. Ooh, we'll have a look at that one. <laughs> oh, I remember this one. This was like the protest mm -hmm. um, yes. runway. Yes. yes. Bella Hadid owns this one. She bought it from us. Oh. Yeah, yes. Miss Bella. Oh, wow. Especially oh. made for the launch of one of their stores. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is not like something that you could like walk into any store and buy. Mm -hmm. it was specifically launched and it's in amazing condition like as you can see all of our white pieces it's like so hard to find yes anything. even our denim like white denim in completely like clean unstained condition mm -hmm. we got it we pulled it from some crazy collector yeah. <laughs> this is the thing i want to know about these crazy collectors like who's been harboring this tb oh tb <laughs> oh my oh this whole candy shop of Birkins and Kelly's. This color. Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> Does Poppy need a sibling? Yeah, Stickers one. still on. Mm -hmm. uh, They're from John Galliano's Fall 2001. Oh my god. I've never they seen this. Still have the stickers on them. They're in Fall shape. 2001. Yes. Wow. And this is actually supposed to be like a car door handle. Yes. So you have the license plate and the car door handle. Stop. <laughs> this is great. Oh, and then the lights. So funny. I'm dead. Right? That's hilarious. Oh. This collection was inspired a lot by like Eurorave, a lot by like a ton of different cultures. Like, yes. You can see this mirror work mm -hmm. is very like Indian, Southeast Asian, mm -hmm. the embroidery as well. And then, and then just, you know license plate while we're at it yeah, yeah. <laughs> i love it <laughs> i've the world. exactly no i've never seen this collection it's so cute that's it's such a good like we love unique. the saddlebag it's such a, a good different way to do it yeah wow oh while gosh. you're here we also have the smaller messy oh yes okay yeah, and then the rust the rust everybody loves the rust uh, steven sprouse and more coffee Oh my gosh. Just, oh, look at this little shape as well. Oh, she's cute. I love these little perforated. I know. And then little wristlets. Oh, really? It's just an easy throw on. I find these like little pochettes, they feel very New York. As somebody that's just moved here a year ago and thinks she knows what she's talking about. It feels New York to me. It's throw on and go. Yeah. Match everything. That's true. Yeah. And especially like a denim. Yeah. The Papillon, I'll show you the Papillon because she comes with her own little friend. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's a mummy and a baby. Yeah. And Wait, and the they come together. Yeah, yeah they come oh, together. That's, no, stop. TV? That's TV. <laughs> oh, no, this is the yeah. cutest thing. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. DBE double bag energy. Yeah. I had no idea that this comes together. This is the cutest little thing. Oh my gosh. I never knew. I've only ever seen these like sold separately on pre-loved. I didn't know that there was a mummy baby situation. I've never heard of what- It's this crazy. Okay, never in my life have I- What is that? Yeah. Yeah. We've never gotten it. It's not like <laughs> I've worked here. Mm -hmm. But it's supposed to be like 12 different Hermes bags combined in one. one. So they all have like, like <laughs> rings. No, this, this is... Closure. Can I touch it? Yeah, of okay. course. Go ahead. Yes. It also has like this Upper Chanel leather trim that like obviously they don't make anymore. Okay. I'm going to give it a new name. <laughs> This is the Frankenstein. What sort of Frankensteinian experiment is this? If you want to, <laughs> limited edition Hermes bags. This, are you kidding? I've simply never laid eyes on such a, such a bag. What? She's silk and she's embroidered and, oh no, fall in fall. Yeah. Fondazione. Mm -hmm. There's me, me and my attempt at, you know, doing things in an Italian accent. 2001? Yeah. Yeah, she's crazy. Wow. Oh, look at that yeah. buckle. Mm -hmm. Look at the back too. Oh, look back at it. So I've only been skiing a couple of times and now I need to take it up more permanently, obviously, yeah. because 
Are you kidding? And it comes with a bag. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. it's a two for yeah. one. Yeah, and the, and the yeah. poles. Yes. The poles. Is I, I mean, there could be a technical name for that, but I've got no idea. Is it the poles? We call it. We call it the poles. Perfect. Yeah. And, and the helmet, just in case. Safety first, yeah, you know. Totally. If I'm going to be skidding down the bottom of a snowy hill, <laughs> I may as well do it in Chanel. Yeah. You know. We also have. Um, <laughs> This phenomenal, mm -hmm. like sparkly, sparkly, perforated yeah. goodness. Yeah. I'm, I'm honestly surprised she's still here. Oh my god! Crazy, right? Yeah. It's a single flat, but you know, it's all the goodies. Exactly. What? With all these like little discs, coins. What would we call them? All over it and on the back as well. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get information on when. Dubai Metals flat bag. Ah, okay. Okay, yes. So this is from the Dubai collection. Mm -hmm. 2000, what was it? 14. 14. Mm. Okay, to be very honest with you, I'm very overwhelmed. Because <laughs> there is so much. Oh, I love that if it wasn't in red. If this, you know, I'm not a red girl, but what? 4950. They have a lot of Chanel. A lot of Chanel. These have like never seen before. They also have a lot of vintage denim as well. So you've got all of the vintage Levi's and everything. I mean, look at her. Why is she not on a yacht somewhere in Saint Tropez this summer? Ooh, I'm intrigued by that Alma as well, especially because Almas are having a moment, as is Effie leather, which you know I'm very happy about because it's one of my favorite Louis Vuitton leathers. Is it? Are we a little bit Michelin man with the fact that it's just at the bottom here? Otherwise, though, I think the size is right. But yeah, I'm not a red girl. You see that on the side? Okay, hold on. Let's see what it's like undone because not everything has to be done up. Oh, much better. The lovely ladies brought this jacket in and was like, are you interested in Versace leather? And I was like, well, while I'm here, I have never really been a leather jacket person. This is Gianni. Like a three-quarter sleeve stop oh my gosh i haven't buttoned it up yet oh this with leggings and my renee coverla boots for god's sake when i tell you this is so soft and delicious i hate the fact that she fits <laughs> This is sexy. This is giving Angelina Jolie, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. This is the face of somebody who's like, got to add one more thing to the wish list. Oh my gosh. Look at the little zips with the little medusas dangling. In terms of price, this is 1,465, which, I mean, a leather Versace piece now, that's not that. <laughs> It doesn't look like much off on the hanger, I'm not gonna lie to you, but on the way this nips in. Louis Vuitton is uh, bringing about the Alma in a big way, hence I was drawn towards this. It's like a limey, like yellowy, yellow tinted green, but this is the Verne, right? So high shine patent. I am now I'm into gloss. I love a high shine, glossy. <laughs> delicious moment okay so let's have a look i don't know much about the almas i don't know like what size this is okay how is she looking inside 2085 and this is the pm okay so this is the smaller size because you know i usually like a top handle when it's a small bag because i think that it's cute and here we have a top handle you know more of a medium size for me. oh she's sophisticated and of course these everybody loves them yeah, they were barbie movie oh it's mm -hmm. true oh yes the pit the heart one yes okay uh tell me 1995 did you yes, say spring 1995. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, they're great they're great bags these are iconic pieces they walk down the runway and everything collectible mm -hmm. I, I don't think i've ever actually seen them in real life Kim Kardashian purchased that in a bigger size from us and she just recently wore it. So you have a great eye. Oh my gosh. Kim yeah. needs to hire me as her stylist because right. clearly we're on the same wavelength. Yeah. Oh yeah. Purchased it from us in 2018 and oh, she's still wearing it. my so. gosh. I just, yeah. it's like metallic-y, chocolatey goodness. Yes. Definitely a dinner statement bag where you just drop it on the table. And oh yeah. Speak for itself. Yeah. 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 
mirror. With the mirror. Yeah. Here I am at the original West Broadway store. So we're going to have a look what they've got in here as well. So this isn't just any hat. This is Andre Leontelli's. I'm, my mouth is hanging open. My, my jaw is on the floor. First of all, I did not realize the size of these. I know, this one's a, I want to say it's 55 or 60, which are the, this one's a 60, so it's the biggest size they make. Okay, I and think- they don't really make them anymore, so it's like kind of special order in their limited editions they make. Them. Interesting. Yeah. And it's box count leather, so it's the original leather. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Where is his initials? Oh, there they are. Oh, oh here. look at that. This is history. I know, right? This is so cool. Wow. Much oh better. my gosh. Oh, I'm just, I'm just having, th this is like a fashion museum. This, oh, not the Fendi carpet. I know. I like the library. I mean, this one. Yes. Be very to a Richard Prince one. Okay. So I've not seen this shape. Yeah. Oh. So they make them in the duffels too, but this is like the smaller version, of course. Here. And so it's like, it's like coated mm. denim. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's technically like a speedy. Yes. Oh. Gosh, absolute treasures. The orange, the pink. Oh my gosh, just swimming in them. The mesh is fantastic. Right? It's from spring, summer 2007, I want to say, or 2006. How is the white still this white? <laughs> Find the best stuff out there. Yeah, honestly. I don't have the words, I Mason. I don't. Look at that blue satin. It's everything that you can dream of. I love the Kusama dots. Yeah. The older OG version. Oh. Look at them. And look how happy they are. They're so happy to so be happy there. So happy here. Surprised she hasn't sold yet. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, so this is all, tell me. Yeah, you, so you, you're you're going to do a better job. This whole thing's been redone. Yes. These are all kind of some of the original fixtures. Yes. But mostly everything's brand new in here. Okay. So yeah, but this is the denim bar over here. Mm -hmm. And obviously like the cool tees. And then yes. Got a, a little Goyard, a little Louis. Spring, summer, 95 collection. This was um, also featured in... Um, the nanny. Oh, Fran Fine. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's the, it's the guy because it's the underneath part. She liked a lot of the bandities. Like she did a lot of like Vivian Westwood. Aha. Uh -huh. This one was one of them. I mean, look at all this, the Cambon yeah. selection there that are all there. Oh dear. I could spend hours in here just taking it all in. Okay, why do I think, did Brianna not wear something very similar That's to this? That's right. That's the Frank Gehry collab. When they were celebrating the, uh, the monogram uh, print. This is yeah, the just... anniversary. <clears throat> this is special. Yeah, this one is definitely going to skyrocket. Because limit more and more are getting harder to find. In this condition too. One degree of separation from Rihanna. Just look at it. Look at his little topsy-turvy deliciousness. You think you're getting one thing and you get another. It's quite heavy. And then you have the LV on the side. And it's the little oval mirror. Mm -hmm. And then, oh yeah, that leather lining is just, wow. Yeah, this is this is special. This yeah. is... This is like iconic collectible LV. Like, exactly. If you're going to, if you're going to get a monogram, this one is 19.5. But if you're going to get a, like a monogram print for me, I always like the more interesting the better. Yes. Yeah, oh, this interior, I just can't. I know. Isn't Does anybody know how much kidneys are going for yes. these days? <laughs> oh, it's not even as much. <laughs> <laughs> just this little elegant satin. Interesting, isn't it? How like the links are as well over the years, because these are obviously like wider. One. I know this is this one's rare. Crazy. I mean, if you're going to do an armor, do it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, in the green. Yeah. <gasps> is she this girl? <gasps> And there's like a metallic sort of edge to it as well. Like an iridescence, that's the word I'm looking for. Hold on, let's loop her through. Oh, just teeter-tottering through New York with this. With this Louis Vuitton, Stephen Sprouse, Alma. Are you kidding me? Just when I thought I'd seen all of the Birkins and Kellys at the last store. Wait, what? From Andre. Uh -huh. Oh, from his collection? Yeah. Not the Chanel hot water bottle. It's real, you can actually utilize it for that. I mean, this is like the most sort of British experience is, oh, it, is. it gets cold, 
you know, you go, you boil your kettle, you fill your hot water bottle, you put it in the bed 20 minutes before you get in, but Chanelify it. <laughs> no. Oh, this is, this is, I can't. It's an object. I'm dead. This is the funniest thing. <laughs> okay, so this is embossed. 1,850. And look at that clasp. It's precious. Where am I going here? TBE. Fendi baguette. Just so different. This is, I'm shocked that it's embossed as well because it looks like crocodile. And I love the black with the gold pop. Why? Because you can't go wrong. Look at that. I don't even know what that Goyard thing is, but it's glorious. Some sort of travel thing. Oh, there's just, there's so much. I am speechless and struggling to formulate sentences because there is, a, I'm squealing. I have to, I have to touch it. I have to try this on. This metallic pink, it almost looks like chain mail. It's not, it's leather. And the black, oh, and then this is, this is barbecue here. This is the Barbie film. Is that satin with the CCs in it? You're not surprised that that's the one I've gravitated towards. Fall winter, 2007. Okay, your mind is too good at these things. Like yeah. I, anything I point at, you're like, yep, I know, I know the season and I know the year. You know, I just love this stuff. It's all I do all day. I look at that and drink wine. Oh my gosh. Isn't that amazing? This suits me a bit too much. It really does. I'm surprised you don't have one already. Yeah, me too. Right. Now I'm looking at myself. I'm like, how? And it's so hard to find them because that PVC don't take care of it. Aha. Uh -huh. Definitely discontinued it because when like the so black bourbon, it starts to peel over time. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. That's what I got to do. And this is a 30, isn't it? Uh, 35. Oh, 35, Speedy. And interesting. It has that pocket on the exterior side. Yes. Most of the time, only the Epi leather versions have that. So oh, okay. Fun. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed. Oh my gosh, I, I really didn't expect to um, be, you know, like given a bit of a VIP treatment. We got to look at everything. So that was amazing. I hope that you enjoyed too. I'm going to leave a link to another video up here in case you want to see it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.